The sun striking the River Nile signals the dawn of a new day. The Basketball Africa League opens day four and tantalizing fixtures lie ahead. The Ghanaian champion Slack taking on the Mozambican champions Ferroviario de Beira. The Seidu Seigu Athletic Club has had a bit of a rest since their opening loss against the Cape Town Tigers. And for Ferroviario de Beira, they are down 0-2. And then... Kenny Gunakri, Slack, so looking to pick up the first win in this competition. Let's have a look at the starting five. Looking at uh, the starting five, Buchena, Iroikba, Emeka, Nwabuzo, who's averaging 11 points per game in this uh, incredible Nile conference. And in comes Ismail Conde, who replaces Cedric Burfield, who's uh, struggling with a knee injury to his right knee. And uh, Maburu Mara, Dan Anthony Miller Jr. You have to claw and fight for every win in the Basketball Africa League and Ferriero de Beira up against it. This is the starting five coach Luis Hernandez has gone with. It is an unchanged five for coach Luis Hernandez, Ismail Nubmande, Najil Young, Makta Gaye, the Senegalese, Will Perry, and Burma Sidibe. Looking great for the Mozambican champions there. Looking for that first victory. It's going to be interesting how, uh, what attitude they come into this game against uh, Slack. Before we get this one tipped off, court side is Mr. Robbie Noggin. Robbie, the, the tension certainly palpable. Yeah, palpable, uh, very exciting showdown, uh, a dogfight basically. Uh, victory is imminent, is needed for one of these two teams tonight. It's going to be very, very, very hot out there tonight, Hugh. Well, the matchups are set. We're looking at the, where this game could be won. Ishmael Nemamarde has, uh, has a role to play, and so does Conde. Dane Miller Jr. has been spoken about extensively before the, the tip off, and we are underway. For the Barry de Beira and Slack in this tantalizing BAL fixture. First steal and Najil Young gets right into space. Nice little pick up and read as Oriegbo just, Oriegbo just trying to find his way. And that was a little bit of a slow start for Coach Zicevic and Slack. Yeah, a lot is at stake for the Guinean champions. They've had a more rest than uh, Beira, who were up against Petro de Luanda yesterday. They are in fine form. It will be good to see what attitude they bring into this game. Drive and Conde up. Close range, no good. It's the rebound is picked up by Najil Young. Najil Young has grown in confidence for this Beira team. Nimamade driving baseline. First two. Lovely baseline drive and quick finish for Ishmael Nimamade. It's a beautiful finish. He saw some space. He took it, took a bet on himself and straight to the basket. Easy two points for Ferroviario de Beira. Iroebu. Wide open shot, Mara is wide left, the rebound into the hands of Will Perry. Perry going to try and push the tempo again. It's up quickly to Nimamade, and he's into contact. And first foul, Conde caught just with on the back foot on the defensive end. Uh, looking at uh, Nimamade, he's really asking the right questions. He's been incredible for Beira so far. They've not been able to get that victory that they've been looking for since day one of this Nile conference. But just thinking about his growth in uh, the past three years and seeing how he's coming alive here in the Nile conference is making so many people proud back home in Mozambique. He's one of five players that averaged 20 plus minutes for Coach Luis Hernandez. He trusts the starting five uh, in terms of his rotation and so Nimamade averaging 13.5, leading scoring here for Ferriero de Beira in two games. Perfect from the line, and it's a good start for the Mozambican champions. And looking at uh, the face there of uh, Luis Hernandez, Spanish coach, spent so many years coaching at home before coming out to Mozambique where... Conde drives and finishes, and that's under duress, but he finesses it with the left hand. Uh, looking at his performance in that last game against uh, the Cape Town Tigers, he had a very slow start, but now inside the starting five, he's really, really starting off very well. CDB looking to exploit the matchup inside. Balls tapped away. First turnover inside for Ferriviario de Beira. Mwabuzor, he turns over, hands right back. Definitely pushing the tempo on the offensive end. Ferriario, Perry, into the baseline. Young gonna work the matchup. Young through the left hand, misses close range. 
There's really no one to rebound there and give themselves a second chance at uh, the basket, but they'll have to recover from that. Miller. Or Iriebu driving, kicking. Nwabuzor from downtown, and that misses absolutely everything. And uh, nice execution for a shot for Nwabuzor. Yeah, the shot selection there, very frustrating for coach Jelko. And you can see it on his face. Perry. Picked up by Iroegbo. Perry falls to the ground and he gets the bucket. You can count it and one. Ideal start here for the Mozambican champions and that three great finishes and uh, early four point lead. Perry gets a chance for the three point play. Yeah, when you look at uh, the attitude of uh, the Mozambican champions, they're hungry for that victory and they know that starting very well in this game will go a long way in helping them to get that W and will Perry at the front of that. Out of Lenoir Ryan in North Carolina, Division II school, Will Perry has been instrumental for Ferroviario de Beira over the last couple of years, and there he goes. 7-2 the score. Drive in, block! Sidibe clears it away. Into Access the hands. denied. Access denied for sure. Out it goes to Nimamade. Perry on the baseline. Perry knocks down the wide long range shot, and that's big time scoring and eight point lead now for Ferroviario. It is six points for Perry. Up and under, Mara misses from point blank. They have no numbers, it's slowed up by Perry. Young into space, Young drives by and finishes. Two more. Transition paying off here for Ferroviario as a 10 point lead. Slack, a little bit slow out the gates, and it's all Ferroviario to start out at the Dr. Hassan Mustafa Arena. Absolutely incredible there from uh, Sidibe with that block, denying Iroegba. And on the other end of uh, the court, Will Perry just making it six points for him, and amazing for Beira. 10 point lead, 2 12. Uh, we'll take a break, we'll be right back. Back at the Dr. Hassan Mustafa Arena, it is a 10 point lead for Slack for Ferroviario de Beira, and it's a red hot start, much needed. I know patrolling the sidelines, creeping into the crevices. Robbie Knock has tried to figure out or try to find some information. Robbie, could you pick up anything? Yeah, uh, Coach Zedzovic basically saying, you know, you, you've got to defend, you've got to sort out your defense. It's just not happening at the moment. Too many points scored, and you need to own the floor. This is your game. Well, they get a score just out of the timeout, and that's ideal. Two of seven, they are from the field into the hands of Young Gay, who's been also growing in confidence. Perry comes off the handoff. Ball is picked off. Miller into space. Now they have numbers. Miller right at the chest of Perry, and he finishes. It's a beautiful finish there from Miller. Incredible, really, that uh, he could drive into the paint and just get going. They're here, here, five steals. There's Gay. Quick reply on the offensive end. And you score, I score. Uh, Ferroviario de Beira back and forth. Conde gets caught up. His jumper is well contested. Nice big rebound. Gay skies in to clear out from the clouds. Gay has been very active there for Beira on the offensive and defensive side. Sidibe blocked. And the jump ball is called. <laughs> Referee Julian Scott just making the call, and so it will be possession the way of Slack. Just have a look again. Yeah, looking at that replay there. Good defense from Conde, who'll be very proud of how he was able to contain Sidibe. Well, the possession arrow, the way of Ferroviario de Beira, so they try to steal ahead, but it didn't work out. Ball's got to come back, and it is Perry for Beira. Drops it off. Gay driving, right hand, and credit the defense. Tough one on that possession. It's big moments there from Conde. He's just trying to keep the paint controlled for Slack. Yeah, Conde and Miller did a pretty good job. Nice work on the on the block. Yeah, and just looking at uh, the replay there, Maktage as well, continuing to ask those questions and forcing Slack to, you know, make those fouls. And if they can get 
Konde into foul trouble, it could be a huge problem for the Guinean champions. Yeah, the combination of Konde and Miller. I, um, I can just bring some information we had in the shot clock. There's an issue with the shot clock, hence the reason why the officials have gone over there. And uh, would, they're just trying to um, sort that issue out right now. Well, just confirming how much time there should be. Thank you very much, Robbie. And it's been so fast paced and so frenetic up and down the floor. Yeah, I don't even think the officials have had time to try and reset the shot clock because this this game prior to the start, Coach Luis Hernandez likened it to a final. The players are very aware that it's almost do or die. It is business end. It's always the business end of the competition when you're in the Basketball Africa League, but you, the three losses might see Ferro Fiario the yeah, yeah. struggling. Sorry, can I just um, chip in? Excuse me, Q. Um, three seconds. Uh, they're just adding back onto the clock there. That was the issue. Uh, it's been resolved now. Yeah, just Q, going back to your earlier conversation. Beira know that they have Petro and Al Ahli out of the way, and now if they can win their three remaining games, they'll have a chance at making it to the playoffs in Kigali next uh, month. But time to introduce uh, the officials as we wait for the game to resume. Julian Scott, who's uh, the crew chief in this game, brings so much experience from uh, the NBA G League. Hassan Kamate from uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Joyce Muchenu from Zimbabwe. She's incredible. She's one of uh, the female referees here in the BAL, in the Nile Conference. She's been to eight World Cups, including being the first African female referee to officiate at uh, the Under-17 Men's World Cup. Well, finally, they've resolved it, and the three seconds remaining on the shot clock, or 4.8 seconds. Yeah, crew chief, and you talked about experience from the referees. That is absolutely surreal. So three seconds it is, confirmation you see on the screen. And Beira will need an execution out of the sideline, out of bounds. Well, it is a uh, line defense there from uh, Slack as they protect the paint. Nice drive from Young through the counter, counter bucket and one. Strong, strong take from Najil Young. Yeah, Najil Young yesterday sort of got an injury on his ankle. He was worried that he'll not be playing, but he said he has to play. He has to do everything possible to help Beira get their first victory today. And right now, they look like they are on the right course, Q. He is fantastic when he puts the ball on the floor really doesn't like to settle for perimeter jump shots does Najil Young and he's a lot better when he does put the ball on the floor had a little bit of a breakout game uh, for his teams with those 17 points against Pedro de Luanda and now just building on it as he picks up the completion of the end one play five points for Young it is an 11 point lead for Beira Miller Miller up through the contact, you can count the bucket. That's just smart veteran play from Miller. It is uh, the experience that uh, Miller Jr. brings to this slack side. He's been with the Guinean champions for five seasons and one of the most experienced players for them here in the tournament. Very key. And he's averaging 39.7 minutes in season three of the BAL, including the Sahara Conference. That's crazy, Q. Well, he, he would have had 40 if he didn't have that little <laughs> catch moment. He, there was no way he were getting him off the court against the Tigers. And he, he continued to have a high energy, high motor. He led the BAL in minutes played in season two. And you just see his experience, that hand extension from Gave, just able to draw the foul. And here he is with a chance to go to the free throw line. He is the leader, the floor leader, the engine. He is the engine, cream de la cream of the Guinean champions. As, uh, of course, they look to get that victory tonight in honor of the fallen doctor, Abubakar Gaye, who was head of uh, the FIBA Medical Committee and represented Guinea in more ways than one in during his uh, lifetime yeah very sad loss and misses on the on the free throw and uh, thoughts and prayers do go out to the family of dr gay ferroviario basketball in hand Limamad. driving strong take they are functioning on all cylinders right now it's a different team for Vera. they're playing with a lot of intent two more for Ishmael Namamad. Hiroekbo. 
baseline. Passes out. Nwabuzor pulls up for three. That's a great shot from Nwabuzor. Just breaking down off the dribble. High pressure shot gets it to four. Amazing from Nwabuzor. He saw the space and he took it. Three points for Slack to get them within distance of Beira. Yeah, going to work. Passes off to Gay. Gay point blank. Nice defensive work by oh, Conde oh, and Miller on the contest. Just enough to disturb the shot of Gay. Yeah, Gay will have to work so hard on that offensive side. There's so much defense, but looking at that replay there from uh, Nwabuzo, incredible finish. He saw a bit of space and punished Nurmamade. 4.25, left in the first quarter. The baseline shot is short. Kept alive. They'll have another bite of the cherry. Pass inside, there is Gay. Again, point blank range is no good. Young and Perry fighting, and there is a foul call as the scramble for the basketball just on the sideline. Nobuzori will pick up the foul. There's really so much at stake in this game for both sides. They know it, and every possession really counts. And uh, good hands there from uh, Will Perry to maintain and, and get that steal. Well, you have three players who led the offense. Perry, Nwab Nimamade and Young just finding different ways to score. Perry goes up and over. Gay secures the rebound. Point blank again, misses. Gay once again gets it back. It's a, it's a battle inside the paint. It is a battle and uh, Magda Gay, commonly known as the Lion Killer in Senegal, just trying to make his presence known here in the Nile Conference. He's of course, one of uh, the Senegalese players playing outside of S. Duan that already qualified for the playoffs in Kigali next month. Uh, just bringing that lion spirit to the Nile Conference. Senegalese international I represented them at the Basketball World Cup at 4.7 points and 0.7 rebounds. But also UAB Blazers and the NCAA. And he brings a lot of that experience. Listed at 208. And helping to try and shore up the paint for Beira. There's a substitution as Mukwambe will get his first run in this contest. Nimamade will go off. And on the other side, Mara comes in for Fofana. And Gay converts back up to 10. Very fast-paced game. Mara, Kande from the free throw line. Tapped off and controlled. Beira looking to extend their lead. Young drives in. Your short jumper is good. It's a beautiful finish there from Young. To just continue with that confidence for Beira. Off the ball. Some contact call. There's a hold call. So the basketball count and it, it goes on on Will Perry. Picks up his first foul. Uh, Conde. Gonna be given just a little bit of break. Two points he was able to contribute. As more changes being thrown on the floor by both coaches. Bah. In for Slack. Long range shot is good, nothing but net. And that long range shot, Kiroikpo opens up his account. Yeah. The drop off. Sidibe. Into the chest of Ba. That's a great defensive possession. And going nowhere was Ba held strong through the contact. Slack know that uh, if they want to win this game, they have to play great defense, and you can see that in every movement that they make every time Beira have the ball. There are six Ghanaian internationals on the floor for this Seydou Athletic Club. Missed close range from Gay. Rebound is picked up by Rengo. Paddles into Neil, and the blocking foul is called. Just look at that rebound discrepancy, 14 to three. Beira have been all over that glass on both ends of the floor. Turkey 
talking about uh, Beira Yang, one of uh, the very key players for Beira. He'll have to be in fine form tonight for them to have a chance at winning this game against Slack. But one of the Ghanaian internationals on the floor. Outside, Shard Mara. It's no good long rebound, Gate. Looking for the transition opportunity. Back up it comes. Perry. 14 on the shot clock. Screen. Now Perry pulls up from long range. Long rebound. Controlled by Bach. A rare dry possession for Federico. They've had an outstanding offensive first quarter. In Red Bull. Almost from the same spot that he hit a little bit earlier, but it's wide right. Another rebound control. Now Perry in transition, knocks down a three. That is red hot shooting from Will Perry, and they are on fire. This Ferroviario Nevera team. Perry, no defense up on him. That's a beautiful uh, three pointer from uh, Will Perry. Very timely to maintain that lead for Beira. Long range shot again. Can't find his touch. Perry leads the way with nine points. And Ferroviario are playing. Great team basketball in this first quarter. Munguambe. Pass to Neil. Najil Young. Young again gets inside the paint. He's just relentless. He just attacks the paint consistently. It's a good strategy from uh, Beira because they know Slack are playing a small game. And uh, you can see that... Uh, Young and the rest of the Bearer players are sort of bigger than them in size. So if they drive into the paint, they can get a foul and the basket or at least a trip to the charity line. Najil Young has G League experience with the Santa Cruz Warriors and played his college basketball in, the, in Illinois and Chicago for the Flames. 29 years old. Listed at 196. And he's 17 points against Petro. He's high in this competition so far. Growing and continually growing in stature. Robbie, what's the mood like on the sideline? A little bit tense, to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I've, I've been at both ends, and I can tell you that Coach Zetovic, I'm happy when they defend properly, but when they don't, he's absolutely livid. And, you know, they're, they're just not securing those offensive rebounds, and at the other end, you can see they're getting ripped apart, but the, it's coming from the outside. A little bit of frustration for Coach Zetovic. 28 points in the first quarter. High scoring. The long range shot still won't go. They are struggling from three-point land. Yeah. Out it comes to Perry. Drives in. Close range. It just rushes the shot. Does not fall. 14-point game. And Iroegbo. Miller has seen a few touches. Not as many as he's used to. Miller off the spin. Attacks the rim. I think Sidibe got a touch on it. Somehow he gets it back. Up he goes and Cross the contact and the foul. Well, there's uh, great resilience there from uh, Mila and uh, Slack as they try to stay alive in this game. It's a 14-point game, and Mila knows that if they are to, of course, continue to stay within touching distance, they have to drive into that paint, and that's exactly what he's doing. 39.7 minutes for 20 points. He had five steals. His defense, one of the features of the way that he plays the game. Dane Miller Jr. Out of Rutgers in New York. Russell spent some time with the OKC Blue. And has been with Slack since 2018. He gets the second one to four. One second differential between shot and game clock. Perry gets up on his feet. Now isolating, probably going to hold for the last shot. Perry gets by Iroegbu. There's a foul call. And 
Slacker in the penalty now. That's the foul means that you're going to send Will Perry to the free throw line with 9.3 seconds left. Yeah, looking at uh, the replay there, there was huge space and Perry made no mistake, went for the basket. It doesn't count, but he'll have another attempt at adding to Beira's points on the free throw line. Well, Beira have been aggressive right out of the blocks. This is the ninth and tenth free throw attempts. And they've been shooting it at just about 75% before that make. And Perry has been the floor leader. They get both. Miller with potentially the last possession of the quarter. Miller turning, drop off. Ball slips out of the hands and Ruapuzo couldn't finish the assist. It pretty much might sum up that first quarter for Slack out of Guinea Conakry because it was all Ferroviario Beira in the first quarter. And at the end of one, it's Slack 16, Beira 30. Exciting first quarter and Beira setting the tone with 30 first quarter points. That is just electric offense that we saw. And uh, for Slack out of Guinea Conakry, they're going to have to figure out new defensive schemes and try to figure out how to slow down this Beira uh, really well run offense. Asher. Yeah, when you talk about uh, Slack, they know they have their work cut out. There's so much basketball yet to play, but they're playing a small game. They know that uh, they're coming up a, a team that has uh, bigs in that paint, Sidibe, Mungwambe who are going to come on this second uh, quarter. There's so much work really to do for Slack, who have now introduced Dumbuya to sort of deal with uh, Sidibe. And Will Perry, he's been incredible so far in this game, shooting from uh, the three-point line. He has nine of Beira's 30 points and really leading the offensive charge. Yeah, he's uh, been fantastic, Will Perry. And, you know, maybe a little bit of talk about the the little floor general of the floor general's ability on the floor and he's really done um, fantastic in that first quarter of Perry and now it's going to be the job of the tacticians and the coaches on the side to try and get this right maybe a, a chance Robbie just before we get into it to figure out what was happening on the sideline yeah it's interesting it was Will Perry saying sort of you know three passes and they're and they're done um, so basically the pressure is on the slack players when they're moving forward uh, put pressure on them so that they they force the turnover and then they can take possession and score they lead by 14. City Bay off the great pass that's a nice find easy finish it is an easy finish and uh, Beira have doubled Slack's points. It's not looking good for the Guinean champions. The Guinean champions have got to start working. Look at Miller, get inside, slide by, and that's two points, and that might be an option for them. Got to go to where your bread is buttered. Yeah. Chirombe, Perry, red hot. Perry continues to knock down from the perimeter. It's up to 14 points. Yeah, incredible that uh, is the first player now in double digits, 12 for the American. Ball comes up and off. <laughs> Out it goes, and it's going to be Slack basketball, 18-35, 8-48 in this first quarter. <laughs> but now in another look at Perry, who's lays it in from long range wide open the shot is short there's miller jr through the contact count the bucket and one good signs here for slack and miller jr and miller has his eyes on uh, the basket you can see he just picked that rebound went back up and boom two easy three points frustration there from uh, coach luis hernandez as Beira failed to deal with Miller Jr. Well, important that they start the second quarter better than they did the first. Perry. In big games, Perry is the go-to guy for Beira. Juana. City Bay. Going to work. Goes to the left hand, goes right over. Nothing there. There's a scramble for the basketball, and 
The travel is cold and it's going to be a turnover for Ferroviario. Yeah, looking at uh, the replay there, Sidibe tries to fight for the ball, but there's good defense there from Slack and they lose possession. Just lifting the pivot foot, trying to control that possession. It goes, and there's a great example of high pressure defense as the ball is thrown away. Ferroviario pushing up on high pressure. Still at 14 points it is, and substitutions happening on the floor. And looking at uh, Nwabuzo, very disappointed there with that play. He'll take a break. He's been very crucial for them in this tournament so far, averaging 11 points per game. And perhaps they'll hope he comes back better. Mguwambe, up and under and in. That is a skillful finish from Mungwambe. And that's where he's best, just putting the ball on the floor, driving. Yeah, Mungwambe just picking up from uh, where Makta Gaye stopped. And that's very key for the Mozambican champions to have uh, players in the paint that can consistently ask the right questions. And Beira really have scored great points in the, in the paint, 16. 16. Points in the paint for Ferroviario and in Mungoambe goes again looking to add to that total. It's kept alive. Pass goes into Gay. Gay forces the foul, and that's again just great ball movement and forcing that isolation situation. It's gonna be a great game for Makta Gay. Everything is showing that uh, both teams are trying to play so much in the paint with uh, Maktage on this side and Sidibe whenever he's on court and on the other side Miller Jr. But um, Will Perry is keeping the game alive from the back court. Uh, Maktage has struggled a little bit from the perimeter throughout this one but he's got to use a little bit more of that height and that frame on the inside. So some, some Kevin Garnett comparisons online and, and he can perhaps uh, play in that guys. <laughs> That's a nice one, Q. Mugwambe. Miller. He's led the way with his 11 points. It's, it's, it's important that he finds help on the floor. And there's some help coming in. Irueku knocks down another three-pointer. There's a great finish there from Irueku. He knows he's very good behind the arc. He'll continue to attempt those once he has space. Bofana! Defense to offense gets his hand in the passing lane, and there is two more points. We saw the value of what a dunk can do, and just in terms of scoring motivation. Um, and sometimes those kind of athletic plays just knows how to spark a team's offense. Yeah, absolutely. Fofana knows that, and really great defense leading up to that transition play that led to the dunk will give him confidence going forward on both sides of the court. Well, I just get memories of Robach Jr.'s dunk yesterday evening, but uh, Fofana with his own version out in transition, and they are back within 13 points. Ruego this time puts it on the floor. Fofana turns, looking for options. The ball is scrambled. Dumbuya can't. Get the shot up. Credit Ferroviario defense. It's into the hands of Young. Well, Young and uh, Dumboya is a great matchup. Well, there, Young goes right at Dumboya and winning the matchup this time. Najio Young right at the chest of Dumboya. You're not going to see Young pull up for too many shots. He is aggressive. We're not looking for mid range shots. He goes right into the throat of the defense. Substitutions on the floor. Zumboya comes off, and that matchup already seen and looked at as Nwabuzo comes back in. And Nwabuzo just needed uh, a break, and he got it. Short floater is not going to count as the defense he draws the foul. Fofana has done a couple of great jobs, so he's been good on the defensive end, and that's a great heads-up play. 
Uh, looking at uh, the replay there, Nuna Made with the offensive foul. Young picks off the pass. Young, for the finish. That is just great work again. Heads up play from Nigel Young. It's amazing work ethic there from Young. He'll be proud when he sees the replay. And just keeping Beira in the lead. Baseline drive. Miller holds for a second. Three seconds on the shot clock. The pass comes. It's into Irwepu. The shot rattles off. The rebound is tipped just off the hands of Gay. So it's going to be a slack basketball. They keep the possession alive. And looking at uh, the replay there, Young with a nice steal, easy dunk. And just maintaining this 15-point lead for the Mozambican champions. Fight, fighting hard are uh, slack. They, they keep looking for ways to make inroads into the lead. Wide open is Fofana. That's point rank miss, but he tips it back in. <laughs> just must have breathed a sigh of relief on that putback. Perry, drop off, there's Young again with the right hand, they spread the scoring, Young has now moved up and continues to pile on the points. Miller, at gate, Miller, shorted, Perry, in transition, the extra pass, Limamade is wide open, rattles in and out. Now a chance for Slack as they go back and forth on each possession. Perroegbo, behind the back. That's a nice play, and Conde just can't get the finish. Yeah, it's frustrating there for Conde. He thought he had his eye on the, the basket, but he'll go to the free throw line. And just looking at the replay, nice pass there from uh, Perroegbo. But there were too many bodies in the paint. 30-year-old Ghanaian, uh, Guinean international, one of the six internationals that, I, that I've spoken about. And uh, Coach Zecevic, he, he really does try and build the chemistry around this team. And they have a good core of players that have played together and have been tested at international level. And here they are um, representing club, but also represent country. Yeah, Coach... Uh Joko, he's done an incredible job with uh, Guinean basketball. Took them to the quarterfinals of uh, the FIBA Afro Basket in Kigali two years ago. And he's coached the under 19 here in, in Cairo of Guinea. And that experience helps here in the BAL. Gay! BAL post the time. Gets up and in, and that's off the dribble. Smile on his face, and he's got every reason to smile. He's not called the lion killer for nothing, Q. He's been amazing so far. Baseline, it is Miller again. Just has not stopped going, Dave Miller Jr. It is you score, we score, you score, we score, but it's still a 15, a 13 point game now. And 13 points it is for, for Miller. Yeah, he's the difference definitely for Slack. No, Mamade. His mid range jumper is good. Free flowing offense from both of these teams. Eroebo driving, lays it up to scoop, no good. And there's a Hante call. Well, finally, we just get a little break in play as uh, both these teams have been pushing the ball in transition. We've seen some high paced offense. And another look at Gacy. Well, I don't know if you call it a poster. He kind of got the dunk, but kind of didn't get the dunk. It is a poster. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, he can get the poster. He can get the poster. And it is a timeout on the floor. 32-47 in favor of Beira. Well, back we are in the land of the Pharaohs as Ferroviario still fighting and holding off this attack from Slack. As a 32-47, the score, and we just had a timeout uh, for Fana. Into the corner it goes. Mabil with his first minutes on the floor in this one. Iroegbo and the shot clock violation. Now we just 
great defensive position. We have a chance now to just go across. And uh, Robbie, I know that you're in the crevices looking for the information. In the crevices, Q. I like the way that you talk. Um, yes, no, indeed. I, I think that uh, just listening into uh, Coach Hernandez, um, they are basically saying, you know, let's use that man gay, <laughs> as you can see now. Um, let's really focus on him because the fact is that they're, they're racing around looking for, for Will Perry, Nurmamad, but the big man coming through, you know, let's take advantage of him coming through and, and, and just carving open the defense because he's on fire. Well, thank you very much. And you saw the opportunity there for the lion killer to get inside and he picks up the contact and the foul but it is a federal basketball gay okay. gonna try and work the miller matchup kicks out jerome drives baseline and is blocked by miller ever present inside the paint miller jr well, that is why he is really an important player for Slack. Yeah. Now he's going to try and go right at Miller. Stefana comes in on the help, but he'll draw the foul. And it's so tough to stop Young once he puts the ball on the floor. That is really poor defense from uh, Fofana. He'll be very disappointed. He shouldn't even be complaining about uh, the call from the referee. But more importantly, it is 14 fouls for Slack. Same as uh, Bayer. So any more foul in this quarter and both teams will be in the red. He has the ability to draw contact because of his frame and his speed. Gio Young and points in the paint is what he does he doesn't really settle for outside shot he's only shot two three pointers in this competition he yeah. gets the free throw to go yeah it's uh, great for Beira Miller he's got a matchup against Perry Miller drop off pass and he's gonna get called for the travel it is really good defense that uh, Beira are playing in this game they're patient they're trying to make sure that uh, they don't come off with a foul. And so far, there's good communication, and you can feel that. The ninth turnover, that was for Slack. Gay. Perry trying to control the offense. Drop off. Now it's Numamadi. Foul on the floor. And that is the 15th foul. So, it will send Ishmael Nomamare to the line. Well, Nobuzo now has uh, three personal fouls. That's not looking good for Slack as uh, they head into the red. And Beira will definitely take note of that and try to continue to penetrate the paint so that they can get the easy points. Well, I wonder how much of last year's so This is, of course, the second time these teams have met in the Basketball Africa League in, in conference play, and I wonder how much of that remains fresh in the mind of both coach and players, because 1974, it was in favor of Slack the last time they met the Sahara Conference, and uh, looking to turn that result around, I think, is Coach Hernandez, and especially, I think, Captain Oak and uh, point guard Will Perry. Yeah, incredible, really, to think about how that rivalry there is turning out for the two teams. They have that fresh in their mind and Coach Luis Hernandez is not ready to lose a second time to the Guinean side. Fofana trying to rewrite the narrative of his own around the pick from Mobile. Fofana's shot comes off the back iron. It's controlled by the trying to keep the rebound alive was Mara, but he steps right out of bounds. That 20 point margin will be a psychological barrier for both teams. Young from the top of the key knocks down a jumper. That's absolutely beautiful. That's 18 points for Young. He's been consistent throughout the game and very key for Beira. Now Mobile turns over and uh, just three consecutive turnovers hurting this. Ghanaian, the Ghanaian champions as the lead now up to 20 with 2.13 left in the second quarter. Uh, that's uh, 10 turnovers for Slack and 
Beira have actually scored 11 points from turnovers and it's really hurting the Guinean champions. Using the defense to offense mentality. The ball is turned over this time by Gay. Mwapuzor, Iriek was taken away. Now it's Gay. Left hand for two. Another two points from turnovers. Absolutely. It's uh, really looking great for Beira being able to score from the transition and hurt slack. Mara, point blank. Mara gets it back and Mara scores. His first two points in this one, the young 19-year-old Guinean international. Yes, he's come through the system in Guinea and thanks to coach Jelko, who also handles the youth Guinean teams, the senior team, and he's been able to incorporate him in this slack side and so much of that experience is coming to play here at the BAL. Well, uh, the future of Guinean basketball is certainly bright if you look at the age of this uh, slack team, but what is not looking bright right now is the score. The timeout is called on the floor. It's a 34-54, 20-point game, but anything can happen in the Basketball African League. We saw that in this and yesterday evening with the City Oilers fighting back from 33 points down and uh, bringing it to the final possession. So there is still a lot to write in the story and in this narrative between these two teams. Yes, these two teams, each of them looking for their very first victory here at the Nile Conference. Every possession matters. Beira know that they have their fate in their hands, but there's so much basketball to be played. They now need to maintain this double-digit lead that they have against Slack. But Slack are a team that have the character to turn things around, and of course, Coach Jelko being one of the, the very stubborn coaches that can tactically change things. Well, very interestingly, one thing that Beira have done is they've, they've been very selective with their three-point shooting. They've only attempted five three-point shots in this one, and they've hit three of them. Everything has literally come from inside the paint, and it's the job of the, the slack defense to try and stop them. The Lion Killer with 10 points and 6 rebounds. He's been one of the standout players, one of three players in double figures. Yes, uh, the Lion Killer just four rebounds away from uh, a double-double. He's, of course, not worried about his own personal stats, but really that the team gets going and gets that first victory so that they can stay alive in this now conference. Three finals, that's what coach Luis Hernandez said. There's the drive in, nice finish, finish with the left hand. It's a beautiful finish from my uh, Bar. He's been very dangerous behind the act, but just seeing him, you know, drive to the basket, get that easy basketball off the glass just looks good for the Nigerian. They need a couple more possessions like that. Here's Young, Young, right hand. 21st up points for Najil Young, that's unreal. Incredible there for Young, he's been relentless. He's asked the right questions and really having so much fun. The drive in and there's a charge called. We've seen it on, the, on one end and here on the other side, Jerome goes to ground. And another look at Najil Young finishing with the right hand on that drive. You, know, you want your floor leaders to, to lead from the front, especially in terms of scoring, and he's done that for Ferroviario. Yeah, it's interesting really to see that Slacker going for a full court press, knowing that uh, Ferroviario de Beira have good ball handlers. Cue Mr. Will Perry. Mm -hmm. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Now Najil Young drives in, and there's a contact call. Interesting indeed because given the fact that they are in the penalty, you know that any single foul will send them to the free throw line. And you've got to be aggressive when you're up on the press. And foul is drawn. Mara commits the foul. And it sends Young to the free throw line. And looking at uh, the two fouls that uh, Mara has committed so far, he looks like he will definitely be the target for Beira. Go to him and he'll foul. And just an easy trip to the free throw line as... Young attempts that free throw. A rare empty trip for Beira and Young. 9.5 seconds remain in this one. 
And there's a timeout call. I think Coach Luis Hernandez wants to set up a potential play here on the sideline and try and get a, a finish. Just take them up over that 20 point mark. Well, it's been very intriguing looking at the, the aggression from this Federal Biario de Beira team. They've got three players in double figures, Asher. And it's been, you ought to talk about the, the aggression of Najil Young, but he's also had some help. Yes, obviously he's had a, a lot of help from uh, Will Perry, but you just get the feeling that uh, they're really playing as a team, trying to get the best out of uh, each other. And sometimes you feel that uh, Nur Mamade is the one taking the lead, and then Will Perry takes up the lead, and then it's Young. So really they're just rotating that offensive play, and it's working for them. Slack have to play as a team as well on defense, and we know that championships are won through defense, but of course they're missing that man, Cedric Barfield. He's injured with, um, with his knee and struggling, and they're hoping that he can be back for their game against uh, the City Oilers. Well, here's a look at Young attacking and scoring. 17 points. To have him down for Perry with the long range shot to try and close out the half and so and style he misses. They get the, the look they want, but they don't get the result they want through Ferroviario de Beira. But they have been in control since the tip off. It's been all Beira for the first 20 minutes in this one and for Slack. They're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of words at half time. 36-56, half time at the Dr. Hussein Mustafa Arena. That's right, it's 36-56 in favor of Ferroviario Beira as they take on Seydou Legacy Athletic Club out of Guinea and Conakry. And a lot of work to be done by both teams. Still 20 minutes of basketball action that remains on this floor. There is a win-loss record at stake, and there's still a lot of chapters to be read in this now conference. It's been fascinating basketball for the first three days of competition. This, of course, is day four. Game six that is taking place on this Dr. Hassan Mustafa arena floor. And uh, for Slack, they need to try and pick up their, their rate of play in the second half. And for Coach Luis Hernandez and uh, Beira, they really do think that it's going to be important for them to continue the way they've been playing. Yeah, absolutely. Beira have been in charge of their destiny right from the beginning of this game. They've not given Slack any chance at breathing or thinking that they can get that victory. It's a 20-point game, and uh, they'll want to continue from uh, where they stopped at the end of uh, that second quarter. That man, Will Perry, will be very key for the Mozambican champions. He's already downed 14 points, and he has so much help from uh, Young and uh, Makta Gaye. And uh, let's see how Slack react and get back onto the court to play better defense. We're well, talking about controlling destinies. There is a man controlling a destiny of his own. Robbie Nock, you've been courtside. What are your thoughts on uh, the, the performance of Ferroviario so far? Well, they've been very impressive, haven't they? I think everything's come together. The passing of the ball, the distribution, the scoring of Will Perry right from the very start has enabled them to really work well. Looking very strong, looking for a slack comeback now. Anything can happen, and uh, second half action gets underway. It's Ferroviario basketball. Gay, he's got control. Sidibe back on the floor. Young and Numamade, they get the start for Coach Hernandez. Perry kicks to Young. Guarded by Miller. Young pulls up from the elbow. Nothing but net. And that's a start, ideal start for Najil Young picking up where he left off. Iruegbo. The drive in from the man in Wapazor, and he'll uh, draw the foul. I think this will be something that they will, an adjustment that they would have made at halftime to try and attack the room just a little with a little bit more aggression. Yeah, looking at uh, the replay there, Nwabuzo not caring that there's three men literally trying to stop him. And uh, on the other side, Young, like you say, it's starting from where he stopped. It's been amazing from the three point line, from the paint. On defense, he's really been extraordinary as uh, Mabuzo converts the first attempt on the free throw there. Fofana 
Iruegbu, Conde, Miller Jr. and Wabrazo get the start in the second half for Coach Zisovic. Two free throws converted and we're still tied at 20. Perry. Najil Yark. Makta Gaye. Numamade. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Numamade is going to pull the long range shot. It rattles off. We've seen very few shot attempts from the perimeter, and he's probably the primary point man from the three point line, Ishmael Numamade. Yeah, absolutely. That is uh, their seventh team attempt from uh, behind the arc. Ball on the floor. Iregbo is open. Nothing but net from, th from the three point line. His third three-pointer in this game, Iroeg Bu, has been doing the right thing. And once he has a good shot selection, he takes it. And that will be very key in helping them to reduce this gap. But he can't get his hands on it. Ken Iroeg Bu is trying to turn that defense his way. But the ball goes out of bounds. And so it is. Beira basketball still. Perry, working the pick and roll, trap, Namamad, the floater is sure he gets it right back. 14 fresh seconds on the shot clock. He'll try and work with the high pick and roll now. Ishmael Namamad, he drives, kicks, Perry is open for three. It's a beautiful three-pointer there from uh, Will Perry. It's his fourth in this game. Four of six, shooting incredibly for Beira. Well, he's been fantastic as Will Perry, the drive. Top of the keeper in Wapazor. And he also rips the nylon. It's a great way for Slack to stay in this one. Iroegbu trying from the three-point line as Nobuzu drives into the paint. Uh, Mila is still quiet and Conde, but... Uh, they're doing a lot of work on uh, the defensive side. Well, better execution on the offensive end by both these teams just to start out. We always talk about the all important third quarter and it can go either way in terms of, you know, momentum. You know, we've, we've seen that even the fourth quarter can be a strange thing in the Basketball Africa League. That's right. Slack have already outscored Beira in this quarter so far, seven for five, but let's see if Beira can Score in this possession. Long range shot is good. Yay! He's lasered in from downtown. Incredible there from uh, Mark Tagay, the lion killer, with his first three pointer in the game. Oh, back the other way they come. Quick reply. And uh, it is back and forth. There's very little give and take from these two teams. Young. Nomamade. Around the pick, he goes front iron at short gate, picks it right back up, and he misses again. Has struggled on the inside, the lion killer. Just on occasion, can't finesse the finish. And looking at uh, the replay for that three pointer, very timely for Beira as Iroegbu responds rightly so on the other side of the court. He's netted. Uh, Four three-pointers and amassed 14 points so far. Is looking good and reliable for Slack. Nimamad is to the bench. City back driving. Left is well contested. The rebound is picked up there by that man, the Jill Young. And he leads the now conference in second chance points. Uh, you get another idea of, of how good he is inside the paint. Uh, Young has really played the game of... Uh, his Nile Conference experience so far, he's amassed 19 points already, and we're just halfway through this third quarter. Well, conversation between referee Julian Scott and just confirming where the foul will go. And it's uh, awarded to Conde, who picks up his second personal foul, and it's also, two team fouls. Mm -hmm. 
Young gets the second. One of two won that trip, and it's a still 19 points. There's a competitive third quarter, nonetheless. Mwabuzor, Perry on the defense. It always will steps through the trap and he'll draw the contact. Nice offensive execution. They've been much better with ball in hand in the second half. Have slack. Uh, looking at uh, the replay there, Iroegbu driving once again into that paint and there's just too many bearer hands and Mwamba has been caught out and it is uh, a foul on him. It's his first in this game. And two team fouls for Ferroviario de Beira. Well, they called a contact on the ground, so it will be a sideline out of bounds. 6.27 remaining. We've just had over three minutes here in the second half. Miller, quick turnaround jumper. They won't fall in for Conde. The rebound is controlled by Beira. Gay to the corner. Munguambe. Well defended on that one. Munguambe again. He'll try baseline once again to drop off into the hands of Gates, taken away. Fofana battling to keep the ball alive. Finally, chance here in transition. Open, Wabuzor comes off the front iron and there is a battle for the boards inside the paint. Conde working hard and he'll be a jump ball. Possession, slack. There is indeed a lot of work to be done in that paint and Conde trying to get that possession and give themselves another chance with the ball. No. As Mara comes back into the court to replace uh, Iroegba. Well, young Mara has struggled to find his identity in this one so far. There's a ball swatted away. You can't go up weak inside the paint. It's cleared out of the painted area. And, uh, Looking at Conde, he's doing so much of the work there on the offensive side. Oh my, Miller hits the three and is going to get a chance for a four-point play. And uh, that is and could be a big moment in this one. That's a big boy move there from uh, Miller Jr. It's much expected of a veteran player like him. And looking at the replay there, very nice and easy. Rose up above the defense and got those three points in to keep Slack very close. It's 16 points for him, and it's his first three-pointer in this game. 0.5 left on the shot clock. Gets an important four-point player now. Back within 15. Yay. Yeah. Well read by Fofana into the passing lane. Fofana! Well, that should give Fofana great identity in the game. It will give him some confidence. It's his second dunk of the game and uh, great momentum from the Guinean champions. Yeah, Perry is open for three. Big time players make big time shots and that one just halts the momentum and slack trying to fight their way back. Will Perry has been perfect behind the arc and just timely for Beira just when Slack feel that they're coming close. Beira pulls something out of the bag and just wants to maintain that lead. It's still obviously 16 points for Luis Hernandez's side. And you can see the reaction on the bench. We're just trying to seize momentum, and back and forth we go. It's a fascinating contest, 449, it's Slack, 52, Beira, 68, and timeout on the floor. Back court side as a fascinating tussle between uh, Slack and Beira continues. 52-68, uh, the score, 448 left in this one. Back and forth, we continue to go. Miller. Iroegbu, the drive in, an extra kick. Mara is fires from the baseline. It's not going to be scored, but it is controlled on the offensive rebound. Now the drive into the hands of Miller. Miller, hop step, 
finesses it and he somehow found a way in between all the defense. That is big boy basketball really from uh, Miller Jr. Finds his way in the paint and drops those easy two points and just bringing that deficit down to 14 points. Young again, unstoppable inside the paint. And talking about being unstoppable, I'm pretty sure that the, the sideline must be a fascinating place. Robbie, do you have anything <laughs> for us? <laughs> it's not for the faint-hearted, Kira, I can promise you that. Uh, very interesting because Coach Zetovic, um, I mean, he's very animated. He's always very animated. But what he was saying was really, you've got to get the rebounds, you know. And look, there, there, there are moments where you've got to make the assist and you've got a movement around the playmaker. Let's move this ball, let's, let's, let's pass it around and let's help each other because we can do this. But it's still belief and you can see it in the play of Miller Jr. There's always going to be the, the, the key component of the slack engine. And here he is again, third personal foul on Sidibe. Uh, fifth team foul. So this is going to be interesting going with the final 346 in this third quarter. Oh, and Kiwi used some um, some Serbian language that I don't understand, but it was um, it was it was interesting, very interesting. Uh, Robbie, I know you know what he meant. <laughs> the secrets will stay with me. <laughs> well, obviously, just looking at uh, the halftime stats, you can see that uh, Young and Maktagay combined for 27 points, and Slacker just trying to replicate that now in uh, this third quarter by using those drives into the paint through Miller and so far he's doing a, a great job because now Beira are in the red. Yeah, he's up to 21 points Miller Jr. Drive and the little hook shot is good for Will Perry now. Interesting what the referees call on this one. There is uh, seems to be a foul that was called on Perry well, they, or Sidibe actually and Sidibe yep so because they are in the red Ferroviario de Beira it was an off the ball foul on Conde yeah it was a push yeah it was a push they were hand, the hands were up and it was uh, there was a push yeah four personal fouls there for Sidibe he's in trouble the bucket did count as well so you can give two more points to Perry, but a chance here for Conde on the other side. Free throw line, always important, especially down the stretch. And they always say you can, the free, whatever your free throw percentage is, doesn't matter because it, pressure free throws, you just have to take them one at a time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, going into this particular possession, they were shooting at 90% slack. And at least uh, Conde got to get one of the two attempts from the free throw line. Nguambe. Drop off. There's Young into the paint. Once again, unstoppable Najir Young. Back he gets it. Quick hands into the hands of Gay. Gay, close range. Front irons. Miller. In transition, pass, Mwabuzor, two more. It is a great eyes there from Miller to find Mwabuzor. Easy basket and there's a lot of tension in that transition play. Off the ball, contact. And it is Gay who picks up a foul. Miller and Gay just off the ball. And another look at the work by Najil Young who gets the finish with the right hand. Splitting the defense, two more points to the total. And they're straight up to the free throw line as well. In the penalty they are, and so Miller Jr. And now discussion between referee, the referees and the crew chief, Julian Scott. I think they, they might have a look. One of the replay triggers is always an altercation, and this was off the ball. So the conversation happening right in front of Miller Jr. And offensive foul called it is still will be slack basketball. They don't go to the free throw line because it is an offensive foul. Yeah, absolutely, as uh, slack have the possession. Just looking at the replay there, Q.
could be a big moment in the game, this one. As uh, Maktagay has four personal fouls. The drive in, and that's a beautiful take by Iroibu. Now he's uh, finding his comfort. 16 points he has. He's backing up the offensive effort. Young. Buana. Perry tries to drop it off to Young. Perry in the corner. Perry! And it just comes off the front iron. Buana, right place. Or rather, Chirombe, right place to pick up the rebound. Holding. Looking at that, very careless foul there from uh, Nobuzo. But just look at uh, the replay there. Good drive and clean. But Nobuzo now, very worrying for Slack. For him to pick up that foul as he heads to the bench. It's his fourth personal foul. Well, three players on four fouls. Two of them on Ferroviario de Beira, Gay and Sidibe in foul trouble. Perry, three seconds on the shot clock. He can't find his range, and that comes off the back of the backboard, and so it will go out. This has been a spirited fight back by Slack here in the third. They needed to. Yeah, it's great defense from Fofana there to deny Perry. Irwebo! Count the bucket, and he drives in, draws the contact, and it's a big score. It is a big score because it now brings them within 11 points of Ferroviario de Beira, who are in trouble. Their big men are on the bench, including uh, Mark Tagaye, who's been very crucial for them today. And knowing Coach Jelko, the instructions are very clear. Drive into that basket. There's two minutes to play. They are in the red. Let's punish them. Well, the forced move, I think, here is the young Elevate player. Poembia comes in for Coach Luis Hernandez, trying to put that 6'11 frame to work on the defensive end. Young, around the screen. Nguambe, important possessions for both teams. Young, around the screen, Young. To Mbia, Mbia underneath gets it to fantastic pick and roll play. It is a big bucket for the Congolese player who's trying to find his feet here in the Nile Conference. He's been given an opportunity and he's delivering. Mara into the chest of Perry Strong. The rebound is secured by Conde. They get another opportunity. Eregbo fires from deep, comes off the front iron. Somehow Mungawambe wrestles that ball away, importantly so. Perry. Floats it up. There's Mbia. Three around him. Mbia can't finish. Looking for the contact call. Miller. Hop, step, finish. It is a big bucket there from uh, Miller, who uses the advantage of the mismatch against uh, Will Perry, as we see Young struggling. Well, ball goes to floor. That's a heads-up play again, and credit Miller for his awareness on the floor. There's a bit of uh, confusion there as uh, Young, went. Young went on uh, the floor. He felt that his uncle had an issue. Shirombe tried to play the medical situation by falling to the ground. So that is fair play, but Slack scored the basket. Let's look at the replay there as uh, Chirombe put the ball down and it was stolen by Miller Jr. Easy bucket there from Fofana and the confusion has now brought us to this break as uh, Young speaks to Julian's court. Well, it's huge because it takes the deficit and the 10 points and we've just seen some really strange moments and that that might be one of the stranger ones we've seen in the now conference nonetheless and uh, i don't know what it looked like from your angle robbie not from ours it, it was it was a very strange moment uh, no very strange just trying to assess the situation the jail zone um he's, he's limping off he's gonna he's walking away and i don't know if he's gonna be okay i think he's just trying to shake it off but very very strange it really was i was trying to understand because the ball was placed on the ground um they were screaming 
at, at him to say, you know, do a medical, you know, let's like sort of, you know, uh, let's stop the game for a second. And then it was just picked up and, and passed and scored. I mean, surreal, right? Surreal. Yeah, surreal. surreal because when Slack had the ball on the other possession, Young had already gone down. The referees did not see him go down. And uh, he tried to come back and play defense alongside Will Perry. Didn't work out. Chirombe tried to sit on the ground with the ball. But um, the rules are the rules. Crew Chief Julian Scott, just uh, before everything happens, getting clarification. And I think the bucket will, will count. And it is eight point game nonetheless. Play rough basketball. Nemamade, Perry, Rounder and Bia screen. Chirombe, back out, Perry, will catch and he'll shoot. Comes off the front eye and the long rebound is contested for and it looks like it's gonna go against Beira. Yes, it is Perry who's gonna pick up the foul and importantly he is, well they are in the penalty. He's third foul, and so big free throws coming up. Yes, big free throw indeed as uh, Iroegba heads to the free throw line. They're shooting at 85% uh, on the charity line. And uh, personally, he's at 100%, one for one. And it's two for two now for the Nigerian international who's played for the West African nation and the Paris team qualifiers for the Afrobasket and the World Cup. Well, misses the second. He would have brought it back within two possessions. Still at a three-possession game. Around the pick. Leg extended and Bia is called for the offensive foul. Well, it's been a, a big shift in momentum here on the floor. It's like fought back fantastically well in the third quarter 69 76 and you can see uh, lots of tension on both the benches and coach Luis Hernandez now trying to have a conversation with uh, referee Mucenu nonetheless 15.9 seconds a chance for strategizing for coach Zarko Zetchevich as he's done and, and and Slack have done amazingly well to fight back yeah, absolutely it's a great shift there we know that basketball is a game yeah. of uh, runs and so far Slack are enjoying their current run as Beira find themselves against the wall it is a do or die for both teams that are yet to pick a victory here in the Nile conference there's so much at stake if they want to make history and uh, head to the playoffs in Kigali well, they have a couple of options on the bench and uh, talking about options Robbie Knock, what have you got for us yeah Nigel Young he's um, trying to shake off it's the same ankle injury that he had in the first game where he just like turned in a little bit but he was okay and he carried on um, he's got the same situation same ankle and he's saying I gotta finish this game I gotta finish this game even the doctor came over and said sort of you know are you ready to come back on he's like I gotta shake it off first you know give me a bit of time so he's desperate to get back on court well they'll, they'll need him in the fourth quarter that's for sure it's slack possession Important possession. Iruegbo drives, cleared out by Mbia. Miller Jr. fires and it won't go. And that is fantastic defense by Mbia. That's a big block in the context of this one. The drive in, swatted away. And uh, that is, I wonder how big that will be down the, down the stretch. That's a huge moment in the game for Mbia. He's a BL Elevate player and just really great to be performing this way in this game. 69-76 at the end of three. What a fascinating third quarter it was here in Cairo as the fight back well and truly on. The Ghanaian, Ghanaian champions working hard to stay in this one. They've trailed all game, but the momentum it feels, one feels, is, has shifted just a little bit as 69-76 start out here in the third quarter uh, two players doing it Iroegbo alongside Miller Jr. leading the way for Slack in the third and uh, Asher fascinating it really was. Yeah absolutely just going into the third quarter Slack had just scored six points from turnovers it's now 12 for them you can see that they've been incredible with that transition of play they want to continue to play good defense against Beira in this last quarter and then help 
them get uh, ahead of uh, the Mozambican champions. It's not easy. They know that uh, they're in the business end of the game. So much counts going forward. Ten minutes left. This fascinating contest between these two great teams. And 33 points. Slack scored in the third quarter to the 20 of Vera. Perry with the basketball. Munguambe drives in between the trees and he'll draw the foul. Robbie Knox courts that. I'm pretty sure there was um, a, a lot more happening in, the, in between the two benches. Anything for us, Robbie? Uh, Coach Zetovic uh, just talking about Sidibe and the importance of uh, trying to uh, deal with him because obviously it's uh, he's, he's such a key player, but he's the big player and he's the big player who gets into those awkward positions. So make sure that they take one step, you know, from their positions when they're when, and their defensive positions so that they cover a little bit more ground to cover the bigs like Sidibe. He's got four fouls as Sidibe Gay has got four fouls. Mbia might have a big role to play for Ferroviario inside the paint. Mugawambe at the free throw line. Three points. Make that four. And two big free throws to start out the fourth quarter. Uh, talking about uh, Mugawambe, 26 years old, started his career at uh, Costa do Sol, where he played in uh, until 2018 before joining this team of Beira winning back-to-back -back league championships and coming here to the BAL, just using that experience today on the floor for Beira. Drive in, Miller goes right hand, nice touch and another good finish. He is doing the job on the floor offensively, 25 Miller Jr. points. Namamade, Kofana stays in front. Namamade. Couldn't get the shot up, it's well contested. Now they have numbers on the break. Up and in! Scoop, up, scooped in, highlight play. It is a beautiful finish there from Mara. Timely from Iroegbu with that assist. And now there's pressure on Beira. The bravery to put that up given the context of the game. Still amazing. Mbia. His jump shot, no good from just inside the three-point line. Ruegbu, Fofana, got it tightly. And the contact is called on the ground. Perry a little bit irate as he walks away. Just got an update on uh, Nigel Young, just had a little chat. He's gonna, we're going to find out. I asked him if, he's, uh, if it's feeling about that. We're going to find out right now. He's going to come back on. He's just uh, he's jumping up and down. He's getting ready to come back on. Little jogs and everything. So hopefully he can come back on and, uh, and inject a little bit of that extra venom into this Bay routine. Uh, right. Talking about uh, Venom, Perry has four personal fouls, and that's going to be very dangerous. Big time shot coming in from Iruweko. 23 points. And it is on, 76-78, back within two. Two-point game there, incredible comeback from the Guinean champion, showing so much character. The momentum, well, and truly shifted to the ball, goes out of bounds, tapped. And the Mamade trying to find his way in, and it might be the moment. Another look at the catch and shoot, and that's from deep. Yeah, amazing finish from uh, Eroic Bull. He's been knocking on that door from the three-point line. He's the man with the hot hands tonight. And uh, it's definitely paying off for the Guinean side. Fifth connection from long range. Gay in. Gay with the finish. Nice from uh, the Lion Killer to sort of bring back Bayer into this one. Eroic Bull. Now Mara will try the three ball, and it's good. That is a big shot from the 19-year-old. It is a scissor celebration there from uh, the Guinea Junior International. Baseline drive. Blocking foul is called on Mara. Yeah, sometimes it can be a bit difficult using uh, the best line to play defense, but once there's movement on his feet, in that paint, it's definitely a foul. But good eyes there from Iroegba to feed Mara, who doesn't disappoint. And now we have a one-point game cue. We sure do the pass. Mungawambe right into the body of Fofana. And now another quick call. 
will be the 13th foul. Mugawambe was able to draw the foul from Fofana, picks up his second, only his second. Yes, it's only his second, but it's uh, three team fouls for Slack with seven minutes and a half to play in this last quarter. That's a bit of a danger for Slack, but Mungwambe is on the line. Three players with four fouls for Beira, Perry, Gay, Sidibe, Mungwambe at the free throw line. Mara and Wabuzor in foul trouble for Slack. They have four fouls apiece. Mungwambe splits it. One and one. Two point game. Miller driving. Comes off the front iron. Scramble for the board. It falls into the hands of Perry. They have numbers here. Ferroviario. Mungwambe. Long strides. Great work by Fofana to contest that layup. Back the other way. But away go. Holds. 35 31. The score inside. Conde. Now, referee Julian Scott. <laughs> There's really so much pressure in this game. You can see that on uh, the face of uh, Coach Jalco. So much is at stake for both these teams as you see a change on the floor for Fana going off and uh, Nobuzo coming back and uh, fouled out. Mr. Maktage, the lion killer, is out of the game. That's a huge moment in this fixture queue. Yep, that's the end of it for Gay. And really fascinating. They don't call the continuation on the play, so it will be two free throws for Conde and a chance to tie it up. Wow, this is uh, going to be really. An incredible end to this game. And as Maktage heads to the bench with uh, five personal fouls, Young, who's back on the floor, has three. Will Perry, who's scored 22 points so far in this game, has four personal fouls, as well as uh, Sidibe, who is now the huge player in that pain that will be targeted, of course, by Slack. Well, they, they have to target. They have no choice. Uh, it's right there in front of them. Okay. 15 points alongside his eight rebounds. I won't be taking part in this one. That's a big free throw from Conde. Chance to tie it up. Seven minutes left. He gets both. That is uh, incredible there from uh, Conde, who's uh, scoring at 75% on the free throw line, and that's going to go a huge way in determining the eventual win of this game. It's 81 up tight. Aggressive drive from Will Perry. He gets the, and is able to draw the foul. Now, experienced professional player has played in Portugal and Bulgaria, and will draw on all of his professional experience here leading Beira from the point guard position he gets the first fourth team foul for Slack third foul on Miller Will Perry's 100% uh, on the free throw line he knows that uh, Games like these are defined by margins and he's not taking any chances as one of uh, the leaders of this Beira side on the court. Gets both and games like these are also defined by, by moments and making those moments count. Perry gets the lead back up to two. Eroekbo pulls up just inside, connects. Wow, that's an incredible finish from uh, Heroic Boo. He's been shooting behind the arc and is really looking good at this point. And that's his sixth three-pointer in this game. City Bank. That's another great find from Perry. And he's going to try and use the resources he has available on the floor while they're still there. He's going to try and stay on the floor himself. But he finds City Bank. 
inside the paint. Sidibe is able to draw the contact. Now, importantly, Slack go into the penalty. That's their 15 foul with 6.17 left. That could be a big factor here down the stretch. Yeah, it is uh, Sidibe's first trip to the free throw line and makes it count. As, uh, you can see the pressure there on uh, Luis Hernandez's face. Is, he knows that uh, they almost had this one in the bag, but they'll have to stay focused in the remaining minutes of the game. Well, it's empty trip for City Bay. 23, Mungoambe called for the foul. It's his third personal. And uh, should be an inbounds from the sideline. And important that both these teams play through this. Uh, it's going to be an interesting last six minutes. Irwegbo keeps control now. It's Fofana. Fakes. It's tapped away by Young. Young controls. Looks for Perry into the hands of the point guard. Yang's back to the Young. It's going to be interesting to see how Will and Young control that ball as uh, Slack decide to put pressure man to man in that zone and in defense. Perry for three! That is a big call. He called for the high pick from City Bay, looked for his offense, and he makes the big shot. That is his fourth three pointer, Will Perry. Miller. Or rather for Fana, he's right there. That's a big second chance point. Keeps it back within one. But it is you score, we score, you score, we score. So the thing is who's scoring the threes and who's scoring the twos. Nimamal wants the basketball. Mungwambe. Perry for Fana. Matched up. Perry. Working Perry. Pulls up for another three. Back to back threes for Will Perry and in his veins at this point. He's going to take all the responsibility down the stretch. Oh, well, you talk about ice in his veins. It is his seventh three-pointer in this game. It's a huge moment in the game to continue defining this gap. Oh, big plays from the wide open. Wapazor! This is fantastic three-point shooting by both of these teams. They are competing at every single level on the floor. That's his second three-pointer in Wabuzo. He's been knocking on that door and finally drops at the right moment in the game. Oh, Perry just can't connect to see the right option. Doesn't go to hand, it's just slightly behind. Couldn't hold the pass. The ball goes out of bounds and, whew, we got a break in the action. You're 30 points for Perry. Outstanding, his career high in the Basketball Africa League. Uh, it has been back and forth with Perry knocking down the three, Perry coming back up, hitting the three. Uh, we have been treated to some great basketball Africa League action. 88-89, 4.16 left. Timeout call on the floor. Well, back to a lively battle on the floor in the now conference slack trail. Federico Ribeiro by just a single point. They have fought back. Um, from uh, just about 20 points down, and it's been fascinating viewing throughout time out on the floor, and the action has been relentless. Every possession counts going forward in this game. Heroic Bu knows that uh, there's so much at stake. He will try to run down that clock and get the best option to just stay in within distance of uh, Beira and perhaps also take the lead right now. Miller, Mungwambe guarding City Bay. He's going to get called for the foul. This could be a big moment. Miller gets the and one. Sidibe will pick up his fifth foul. And more importantly, Miller with the chance to make this a two-point game. It's a huge moment in the game as uh, Miller drives into that paint. And foul and basket has another chance to go to the free throw line. And it's really incredible as... Uh, we see Sidibe going off. He's fouled out exactly as Magda Gaye, his teammate, sitting right next to him. And it's uh, definitely going to be a defining moment in this game. First lead of the game for Slack. Big, big moment at the free throw line here for Miller Jr. 
27 points he's got up to this moment. And the man that comes on to replace Sidibe is uh, Chirombe. Completes the three-point play and now two-point lead for the champions of Guinea Conakry. Uh, Robbie, we have a, a brief second. Uh, what, what, what's it like on the sidelines? I mean, it's, it's just intense. I'm, I'm, I'm like a twitching owl here. I, I can promise you that. Left, right, and centre. So much is happening all the time. And I just keep an eye on, on both sides. But there's, you know, I, I think it's just a question of, like, being a little bit disciplined, if you can, and trying not to lose key players at this crucial time, just like we saw with Sidibe. And, uh, importantly, Will Perry is still on the floor with his four fouls. The other two that were in foul trouble are no longer on the floor. Nwabuzor on the side of Slack, Conde and Mara, three players with four fouls each, but Will Perry at the three free throw line, two shoot three. Well, it's been a very, very physical game for both sets of players. And Will Perry knows that uh, Slack are in the red. So he'll still continue to drive into that paint, get those fouls and see if they can convert on the free throw line. You can see the tension there on coach Jelko's face. Still a one-point game cue. It's uh, very, very close. Importantly, Perry converts all three. Irwegbo! He's feeling it as well. He connects from just inside and you know, lead changes now on almost every possession and big time shots by almost every player on the floor. Young calls for it. Miller guarding. Young gets up and under. Miller with the great defensive play and then Young picks up the foul. It is a silly foul there from uh, Young. And uh, with both teams in the red, it's his fourth personal foul. It's been amazing for them on offense with 24 points, but with that foul, Miller will head to the free throw line. Well, just really great defensive work. Young thought he had slid by using his footwork. The length and wingspan of Miller knocks the ball away, and then Young fouls out of frustration. Yeah, Miller has converted seven of his eight attempts on the free throw line. These are important shots for Dane Miller Jr. This is an important game for both teams. He's really stood out for the Guinean champions. He's scored 28 points and 29 now with eight rebounds. Just two rebounds away from a double-double in what could be an incredible victory for Slack. Well, not if Will Perry has anything to say about it. Both these teams have been amazing pass to the corner. Mungo Wambe hits the three. That is a big shot, an excellent pass from Perry to find the shooter open in the corner. It's a big decision there. And for Mungwambe to convert timely in this game so far. And Rebo right back at it. And they are going back and forth to heavyweight fighters slugging it out down the stretch. That's 29 points for Iroi Bull. Big, big, big performance tonight. Perry hits the three again. Oh, my! Somebody stop that man. The man with the hot hand, Will Perry, has driven everything on the offensive side, and that's his eighth three-pointer tonight. Amazing. 36 points for Will Perry. Iroi Bull tries to reply. Long rebound. Picked up by Mungo Wambe. Now we are into the final two minutes of this one. This is definitely the highest scoring game that we've seen in season three of the BAL. Perry for three! Will Perry, 39 points. He is on fire. Unstoppable performance there from uh, Will Perry. Eight three-pointers. Nobody saw that coming. He's driving. He's getting into the paint, but when he has a chance from behind the egg, boom, clutch. He's been fantastic. And now 
Ferroviario de Bear become the second team in the BAL season three to score more than a century. 101 for the Mozambican champions. 39 points from Will Perry. He is carrying the offense for his team, Ferroviario de Bear. Oh, we have seen some excellent long range shooting, and he's been lasered in. That's how you do it. That's how you snipe from downtown, but that's also how you lead from the front. The point guard, the floor general. And right now, he's given his team a four point and a two possession lead. What fantastic play. This is a fantastic performance, really, from Perry. He was told from a very young age that. Uh, He's too small to play the game of basketball, but he's defied the odds. He's played incredible basketball overseas and right now enjoying himself here at the BAL and really bringing so much hope to the people of Mozambique and making them smile. But there's so much tension. One minute, 52 seconds to play. But looking at uh, his last game, he scored just seven points and today, 39 against the Guinean champion 61% from the field and wow what an amazing perfection that he's had today behind the act and, and importantly if you look at the way that he's taken the shot from the out town down the center to variety boys pull up threes really his speciality and the record four points in the game 41 points to Ralph Stockland has as the BAL current record holder but Perry on the verge of breaking that with his 39. Wapuzo out of the timeout. But Irueku fires for Fanak, looking to put it back in, and now it's controlled here by Perry. Uh, talking about control, Beira will be trying to run down that clock, make sure they score in this possession. Pressure for Fanak, and that's smart play. They, they know with one minute, 29 seconds left, uh, each possession is vital. They're going to try and take as much time off the clock as possible and uh, force their way to the free throw line. Well, I don't think that Will Perry is the kind of player you want to send to the free throw line <laughs> no, not so with, far in this game. Not with the kind of afternoon he's having, but important free throws again. Yeah, he's uh, nine for nine right now on the free throw line. He's a hundred percent scoring there, but you're right. When you look at uh, the game plan, Slack have to make sure they use every second on the clock. Well, he's tied at 41. That's a BAL scoring record. He's got the most threes in a BAL game. That's nine of them. Uh, Perry has been great. And there's a foul call just off the ball. Little Wegbo picks up his fourth personal. And that's a charge just happening off the ball contact. That's a big moment in this game. It was very unnecessary. And just looking at uh, the replay there, Iregbu trying to set a charge, but it goes south from there, and uh, Beira have possession. Well, it's into the final 90 seconds. Lumamadi, guarded by Iregbu, splits it. Up he goes, the layup won't go, but they're on the follow and finish. Chirombe gets his first two. Those are big two points. And now the lead up to eight. A big moment for the 23-year-old Shirombe who started his career at the club and just signed his first professional contract last year and made his debut in the Mozambican League. Young in, scores! And lead up to double digits now with a little bit of comfort for Beira. Miller from the three-point line. Cleaned up by Young. Young seems to be leaving with uh, nine lives so far. He's a little bit limping on that ankle, but he doesn't care. At this point, he just needs to make sure they get that W and everything else will matter thereafter. Chirombe on the give and go, and that, I think, will be the exclamation mark on this one as Beira fight it out. And it's been a fantastic last two minutes, but this has been a standout individual performance from that man, Will Perry. We've one of the best individual performances we've seen in the Basketball Africa League in three seasons. Yeah, absolutely. Will Perry will be very proud of uh, this uh, performance tonight. He's equaled that all-time scoring record on the BAL. And more importantly, Beira pick up their first win in the Nile Conference. Their backs were against the wall. I'm sure they saw the trip back home in their minds, but it's, that's how you lead a team, and that's how you play down the stretch. Congratulations for Will Perry and Ferroviario de Beira, but Guinea, I mean, Slack 
credit to them fought back from 20 points down to come back in this one and we were treated to one of the best games we've seen in the basketball africa league yeah it's a huge moment for ferroviario de beira the team from uh, the costa town that suffered from uh, the cyclone idai that literally took down their arena they've not been able to replace it a couple of years down the road but it's a huge moment for mozambican basketball their fans will be celebrating not just in beira but in maputo as well the capital they'll be very proud of this performance and really also it's in interesting to note that chirombe was able to come on and finish the job that makta gae and sidibe started from right the, the first quarter 97 109 ferroviario de beira the slack of guinea the final score here at dr hassan mustafa arena will perry the guy who picks up that individual accolade what a great performance from him and I, I, there's, there's too many superlatives that one can attach to his name, but he really did stand out and play big time down the floor. I do know that Will Perry is standing by courtside, so we'll cross to Robbie. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, Will, first of all, I think it, the most important thing was just to get the win. So how important was that uh, to get the victory over Slack? A very determined uh, performance out there tonight. Yeah, like you said, you know, it's, it's now we got three games we think we can win. We need to do it, so we had to do what we had to do tonight. And I'm really thankful that we got the win because now we uh, we got a chance to go to Rwanda. You do have a chance of going to Rwanda. You've got rid of the bigs. So you've still got a couple of games to play. Um, how important and what will that how, how will that stir up and, and build your confidence after that victory? Yeah, anytime you can win a game, it builds confidence. You know, we lost two in a row. We had the toughest teams uh, first two games, which you know we kind of treated like, hey, if we can steal the win, we can steal one. If not, we need to really get ready and. Uh, you know, be strong for the teams that you know are, are, are at a level that we're at you know and today we got the win man we're confident now going to the next two so um a few bal records were were, were smashed today uh, most number of threes ever in a bal game nine for you will perry 100 percent from the free throw line and 41 points uh Ter Ter stoglin's uh, record of 41 you, you matched it how do you feel about that i mean does it mean a lot to you or is it just uh you know just figures yeah i mean not really to be honest Anytime I can get hot from three, I can put up the numbers, you know, like we today. I'd rather be a two-point guard, three guys are wrong, but today, you know, the pick and roll, they back up a little bit. I had to shoot. I got hot, so I kept going, but uh, the numbers don't be much. It's, it's more about winning. Just finally, um, you know, what, what will you learn from this game here, that third quarter, and how you battled to, to victory today? Honestly, stay focused 40 minutes. Every team is good. You know, Cape Town and City Oilers are just like those guys. They're going to fight. They have talent, so we can't lose focus. We're up 20 and a half, and the second half was just not, not good enough, so we squeezed it out. Thank God. Well done, Will. Thanks very much, you Thank you. The thoughts from Will Perry and the standout individual performance, 41-8-3 and 64% from the free throw line. That is surreal. Yeah, that is surreal from uh, the man from uh, North Carolina. Incredible performance there. And really, you can see how much this means to him. Not really about the 41 points, which is a BAL record, but the fact that they got that W. Now they can think about the remaining two games and how they can get one foot into the playoffs in Kigali. Huge moment for Ferriero do Beira who have been amazing here. It's a big win and a big moment for Mozambican basketball. Well, Beira will be proud. Will Perry happy. And uh, talking about individual accolades, not meaning that much, but you really saw uh, a standout play from the point guard. 109-97, the score. Uh, 11 of 20 they were from the three-point line. They distributed the ball pretty well at the uh, 20 assists. And uh, we've, we've seen, not seen that in the first two games. And maybe that will be giving credit Al Ali and Petro in terms of the way they defended Ferroviario. But they got into their system tonight. They played some fantastic basketball. Uh, we saw some high-scoring basketball on both ends from Slack and Ferroviario de Beira. Yeah, absolutely. Talking about that, uh, you have to also know that uh, this man played for 40 minutes. He did not come off the follow Will Perry. That was very key for them. Of course, he'll have some tired legs going into uh, tomorrow's free day, but it's a huge moment. It's a big disappointment for Slack, considering that the way they lost uh, the Cape, to the Cape Town Tigers. Yeah, they at least keep their competition hopes alive. And uh, credit to Slack because they 
Anthony Miller Jr. with 30 points, 8 rebounds and 4 assists. Ford Hart Eroikbo with his best game so far for a slack. 11 of 22 he was from the field, 7 and 5 in terms of the assists. Najil Young fought through an injury for 26 points and 11 of 13 shooting. Uh, 5 rebounds and 3 assists and they were toe to toe it was heavyweight jabs and and hooks and uppercuts and it was it was all amazing and at the end of the day we were treated to one of the best contests that we've seen uh, petro de luanda and the cape town tigers do battle at 8 30 local time that should be another fascinating game the city oilers and slack will resume battle on tuesday and then cape town tigers and the Al Ali, the host, will close out Tuesday's action. That's after a rest day, but a lot to look forward to win the Nile Conference. Yeah. It's uh, going to have a look now at what this all means in terms of the standings. And importantly, Beira, one and two. Now, uh, Cape Town Tigers still sitting just there in the center of the table, one and oh. Two and oh for the two big teams. And uh, Slack, 0 oh and two. And so are the City Oilers. But there's still plenty of basketball. The Sahara Conference taught us that there's a lot to work for and lot to, uh, there's a lot to play for. It's not all said and done. For, from Quinton Denison, uh, Asha Komogisha, Robbie Nock, we sign off and we'll be back just a little bit later. Tigers and uh, Petro de Luanda.